So here are two examples where we're going to go from a worded problem to a differential equation, and then we're going to solve it. So the rate of change of the distance s travelled by a particle is directly proportional to the square of the time t. Find a, vol a formula sorry, for s in terms of t. So the rate of change of the distance okay, is talking about how s is changing with respect to time. So that's ds by dt. And we're told that that is directly proportional, so we could write the proportional, proportionality symbol, uh, to the square of the time taken, t. OK? So because we're saying that ds by dt is proportional to t squared, that means that ds by dt is some multiple of t squared. And so we could write that as k lots of t squared. OK? So, from that, we can then solve it, OK? So we can uh, just integrate both sides in this case, because that's quite nice. So we don't even need to really rearrange uh, the uh, separate the variables, because multiplying by dt and integrating uh, will get us to exactly the same thing. So s will be equal to kt cubed over 3 plus another constant c. OK? And that is a formula for S in terms of T. Now, the rate of increase of the number of bacteria in a Petri dish N is inversely proportional to the square root of the time elapsed, T. Find a formula for N in terms of T. So the rate of increase of the number of bacteria, so as N is increasing with respect to T, OK, that is proportional to... Uh, is inversely proportional, sorry, to the square root of the time elapsed. So it's inversely proportional, so that's 1 over uh, the square root of t. And so I could say that it is equal to k over root t. So that can be written as kt to the minus a half. And so if you integrate both sides, we're going to get kt to the half over half, so 2kt to the half plus a constant c. OK? So at both those stages, you could then go and um, uh, use separation of variables if required. But I want to give you kind of like a taster here of how to form the differential equation.